Hi, welcome back to Sheldon's Art Academy. We have a new program that we're launching that we're really excited to tell you about. It's really important that uh, when you're applying for a school, a very high-end art school or a studio, that you have the proper art samples to show. This is our portfolio prep program. It will also work for the parents and students who want a more formal uh, approach to their work. As you know, at our school, we will allow you to work on whatever you want, and then we attach the fundamentals to your agenda. In this case, you have to work with our agenda. In the old days, they had the Atlier program. It's very progressive. We do it here. But now we'll have in the portfolio. Every student at the end will leave with a finished portfolio. Also, there'll be the estimated time on how long it takes to get through the program. It's not going to happen fast, but it will be thorough. Let me show you a little bit about what we're doing. We're going to start out with understanding the shapes. It's very important. We call this the lay-in. Shape, multiple shape, negative shape, and cross contour. On approval, you will move from your construction into understanding how light falls on form. On approval, we will continue to move on to lay-in, showing direction, shapes, cross contour, and finish using drapery. Again, on approval, we'll move on to perspective. Very, very important foundation. We'll use books. We'll also then take the books in a more complex manner, and then also continue on to use the same foundation to do a finished perspective drawing. We're going to be, at this area, we're going to start painting. Very simple shapes utilizing fruit. We will establish monochromatic, working our way through color to the subtleties of halftones, following the alla prima method of painting, very direct. Over here, we're going to move to more complex forms, continuing with the cross contour, and then down here, putting together more of a composition uh, with allowing the student to understand how to use lost edges. As you continue through your training, you'll start to also understand and become more confident with your painting more complex subject matter. Moving on over here to a finished subject matter. A painting like this could also be used in advertising, fine art, or an animation background. It is very important in the history of art and in the future of your development that you understand how to draw the human head. In this area here you'll be understanding the rhythms along with your anatomy. Planes are absolutely important then at this point you will understand how the human head works, all the features along with your color, your values, and uh, structure. Throughout history, every artist has been judged by their ability to draw the human figure. At our school, you're going to learn to draw the human figure in the Florentine school first. Highly linear, highly structural. These are quick sketches. These are done in less than five minutes. Moving on to, to longer poses with your figure drawing, but it must continue to have story. As we can see, moving back, this leg comes back, this leg comes forward. Very, very important. The secrets to the entertainment industry and the animation industry and the video game industry is found in the Renaissance. People wear clothes. So we're going to take our knowledge from the figure and apply it to drapery. If everybody draws the same, you different from everybody else is your ability to tell the story. At this point in the portfolio, we're going to be working into story and themes. Oh, and let us not forget, they want to see animals too. We study in our studio so that we can perform outside the studio. These drawings here were all done from life. This obviously was done in basketball. This was done at the airport. The colleges do want to see a self-portrait. Let's do a self-portrait. This obviously was a painting of a gentleman that I thought had a very interesting face, so I painted him. But we will put in your self-portrait here. What is your passion? My passion now that I'm in my later years as an artist, well, I'm only 47, is Catalina Island. I love Catalina. I'm in a gallery on Catalina Island. This is my passion. Let's show them your passion and let's do some very long 
involved pieces. Let's, let's play. All the students in the academy will be asked to and required to do a underwater scene, taking elements and piecing them together. What you have just experienced and have seen is the foundation program. From there, you will move on to a number of other portfolios, in this case, character design for animation, where you will be able to, to experience and have fun in your chosen field. We love fashion at Sheldon's Art Academy. Fashion is just an extension of classical drawing and painting. The illustration portfolio, I think, is going to be one of the most exciting in our school. You like helicopters? Illustrate helicopters. But if you like buildings, let's do buildings. So that's our new program. The exciting part about it is it's designed for middle school and high school students. We did an experiment. What if we give middle school and high school kids the same training that we gave at Warner Brothers Feature Animation, the same training that we give our college students? What happens? They excel. I have 11 year olds drawing heads at a college level. Let's take our time. Let's enjoy the process of the training. But let's do the right training. It hasn't changed in 500 years. Go to our website, sheldonsartacademy.com. Take a tour. Look at some of the videos. Come on by. We'll talk for a while. If it's your dream to be a professional artist, let's get you there. It's all in the mentoring. Take care.